up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Franchise Guy, come back at you again with another episode of Madden 19 Franchise Mode, featuring your Super Bowl champs, back-to-back -back winners, Philadelphia Eagles. I know they didn't win the whole thing in real life. It's a shame. It's a real shame how Sean dropped it, you know. Really is a shame. Uh, but Alshon didn't drop it here, and we beat the San Diego uh, Chargers, or I'm sorry, the Los Angeles Chargers of San Diego, just like the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, in the Super Bowl. So, check out the ratings real quick for uh, Amir Abdullah, he's a decent running back, he fits our scheme. I have to change his number, I'm going to tell you for a fact. For the next nine came in this one, the next three episodes, the number has not changed. I'm sorry. Did not think about that at all until more recently, but yeah, no, his number is not is not changed one bit. I'm sorry about that. Really is a shame, I know. It's a slap in the face to Eagles fans to, uh, to make you know, Brian Dawkins' retired number on a scrub running back. It happens, I mean, oversight on my part. But it was not oversight, it was hitting Zach Ertz right there, so he gets the first down. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We, we're cruising this drive at least. I know that for a fact, that we kind of just cruise down this drive. No real hiccups. Jesse James, the former Steeler right there, picked up the catch right there. His first catch is an eagle. And we're going to go deep to Alshon Jeffrey. Gonna burn the cornerback right there for a touchdown. First touchdown of the season for Alshon. I mean, I know in the sim, Alshon Jeffrey doesn't play really well at all. I mean, he plays, like, really bad in the sim. Like, not even a thousand-yard receiver kind of bad. That also partially has to do with Madden not understanding how number one wide receivers work. Where slot guys were gonna were getting like a thousand, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred yards, and number one receiver is getting like six hundred yards. But James White right here, the old man himself, just runs up the middle, untouched for a big gain. And right here, look at that, Brandon Graham with the sack, sacks Tom Brady, forces the fumble. Fletcher Cox picks it up right there. And, uh, yeah, no, Tom Brady not having a good start to this game. Look at that. TB12 just gets thrown to the ground. That's a penalty in real life. So that's why we know we're playing Madden right now. Right there. Holding the ball just too long. Waiting for someone to get up. And we're going to get a sack from Adrian Claiborne. Real shame right there. Third and a mile right now. Going to hit Zach Ertz. And Zach Ertz is just going to come up short. Ever so slightly, three yards short, he's going to come up, forced out by that guy, that's a whole lot of consonants, not enough vowels for me to pronounce, and Elliot's going to get the field goal, the kick is up, and the kick is not good, no, not enough power on it, bounces short, so we're giving the Patriots the ball back pretty much where they left off last time, and uh, James White picking up the first down. You gotta stop James White. We're not stopping James White. Tom Brady rolling out again, and there we go. That's Nick Bosa, our first round draft pick. His first career sack. This time's on Tom Brady. So it's great to see that, you know, Nick Bosa's making his family proud, getting the sack right there on Eagles' second defensive drive. Look at that. First ballot Hall of Famer Tom Brady goes down to. Probably future first ballot Hall of Famer Nick Bosa. As long as he stays with the Seagull team, he's going to be pretty good. And right there on the third and eight, Fletcher Cox is going to hit Tom Brady. That ball is just going to get spun out. No fumble, unfortunately. Just going to be an incomplete pass. Fourth and eight, Eagles are not bu buying. This is going to be a kick. This is, at l <laughs> this is literally at midfield right now. And that kick is wide right. So... Trading back-to-back -back missed field goals, these two teams. Carson Wentz going to find Zachary. It's right there in the second and eight. Get the first down. 
And she's going to cruise along right there. That third reception of the game already for Ertz. Only the first quarter. Yep, so we got third and eight right now with just under 30 seconds. Zach Ertz again going to get the target. And he's going to be just short. Fourth and two. Uh, but we're going to go for it. Second quarter, Eagles are going for it. They hit Dallas Goddard, runner up for rookie of the year last year. Or offensive rookie of the year, really. Uh, and he gets the first down. Hand his ball off to Amir Abdullah, and Abdullah's going to get the first down. Tries to bowl over to Patriots linebackers right there. He's not LeGarrette Blunt, though, and he does not go through them. He gets stuffed. Going to get this toss to Amir Abdullah on fourth and goal. And he gets stopped. He runs into his blocker. And right here, you know, Patriots try to run on the one-yard line. And Timmy Jernigan is going to get the stop right there. Force the safety. Add two points to the Eagles team. Doug Pearson pretty happy. Putting Aguilar in motion. Pitching it out to Wendell Smallwood. Smallwood with a stiff arm. Smallwood's going to get the first down. First rush, 10 yards of the game. Good rush for Smallwood right there. I got Carson Wentz in pocket, throwing deep, and that's going to be picked off. Alshon Jeffrey, I don't know why in this game, just does not jump. You can hit aggressive catch or anything. He does not jump for the ball. So they're entirely on Alshon Jeffrey for not jumping for that ball. But that, uh... Marvin Tell, the third, right here, with his first career sack. Pretty nice right there. Forces the punt, though. You know, first and ten, going to hit the, uh, what was that, Nelson Aguilar for the first down. Again, second and ten, going to find Zach Ertz, and Ertz just going to do what Ertz does, picks up 15 yards right there. I mean, Carson Wentz stats on the day, 133 yards on 14 passes, not the worst. I mean, it's just under... 10 yards a pass. We've had a couple short passes, I'd say. Third and three now for this Eagles team. Going to hit Mac Hollins, and Hollins is going to he's gonna stretch it. it. Was tackled at the five. It's down to the one-yard line. Carson Wentz going to find his favorite target, Zach Ertz. The two names ending in TZ connect in the end zone. Second touchdown of the season right now for Carson Wentz. First of the season, four. Mr. Zach Ertz. Yeah, that just cruises on in. Untouched. Cruises in. Does a little dance. First and ten now for the Patriots. Tom Brady rolling out of the pocket. And he's going to go down aggressively. Shane Ray, the linebacker, gets him for his first sack as an eagle. Doug Pearson, pretty happy that we got our fourth sack of the game. Look at that, Tom Brady going down again, this time by Trey Lamar. Is that our second round? Is either a late first round draft pick? I think it was like middle round, like 17th pick in the first round. I think we had, was it, three first round draft picks? James White, though. Third and 32. Gets a big rush right now. You know, 10 yard rush, pretty much. We're not locking up James White, it's showing real far. First and ten, we get that ball to Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz gets pulled down by the face mask. And, uh, yeah, we're going to accept that one. Give us 15 free yards, why don't you, Kyle Van Noy? I mean, I like Van Noy. He's, de he's a decent linebacker. But, uh, end of the quarter right now. Kick the field goal. This one's good. We missed a field goal, made a field goal. Evens out. Not the worst stats in the world. That'd be to be one for two. I mean, you saw those Patriots stats are there. Patriots have negative 37 passing yards. I mean, that's just how you get uh, sack, was it, six times in the first half? This Eagles team is just built for blitzing. They made a couple of changes in the coordinators. You know, Tony Romo came in to be the offensive coordinator, replaced Mike Groh. Nothing against Mike Groh. Mike Groh is a decent, uh, decent coordinator. He just felt that he was overstepping, you know, his comfort level and his stress level. 
stepped aside, Eagles sent a nice offer to Tony Roman to be the new offensive coordinator. So far, it's working wonders. Brian Dawkins, though, on the other hand, not too happy right now as he stepped down from his front office job as partial owner when Howie Roseman came to him and offered him the defensive coordinator position. I mean, Jim Schwartz was offered a position with another team to be an assistant head coach. So he was taking that for the you know, head coach for the first time since he played at the Lions. And Brian Dawkins graciously accepted, you know, the ability to be a head uh, to be a defensive coordinator. But you see right there, going for it fourth down. Tony Romo's offense pretty successful. That offensive line coach John Runyon not too happy with this offensive line play. That's his second sack allowed to Carson Wentz this game. Just a whole bunch of friendly faces brought in, and look at that. No good right there. You gotta get this toe tap going down. Forcing the punt, though. A.J. Cole, rookie punter, drafted him in the seventh round. He's having a pretty decent game. Hasn't allowed a kick return yet, a punt return really yet. Look at that. James White, 11 rushes, 127 yards. We gotta lock up James White because he is killing us right now. First and ten, though. James White... Fumbles it. Nigel Bradham with the recovery. Great to see right there. You can't let you can't let running backs who are doing good, you know, stay hot. You gotta you gotta lock them up. You gotta lock them up. Force them to have a mistake right there. That was their mistake. Force the fumble right there. Right, that's under booth review. Of course, it's under booth review. Why would the Patriots not get a call go their way? I mean, of course the Patriots are going to get the call to go their way. Ball is loose. His knee is down, but I don't know. Let's see what they're going to say. We got Brown in 28 right there talking about it. And they're going to rule the fumble back. Just the rule of the runner down by contact on third inches. James White does not get the conversion. Fourth and one. Loses a couple inches right there. First and ten, heading his ball off to, is this Josh Adams? Josh Adams, yep. Signed a one-year deal going into uh, the offseason, because I had a lot of problems, if you saw my last episode, for spring uh, for free agency. I signed guys like Taysom Hill, uh, Kevin White, and in the sim for preseason, it decided it was a good idea to cut all these players. And when I went to... Uh, re-sign some of them, like Taysom Hill, and, you know, even Michael Bennett, because it cut Michael Bennett for some reason. Uh, yeah, they're not in free agency right there. I tried to see if they're on different teams. They're not on different teams. Michael Bennett is not in the game right now. He didn't retire. He's just not in the game. But you see right there, Nelson Aguilar gets a rushing touchdown. How often do you see that right there? Gets the tackle, stumbles, gets the hand down, regains his stability, and just cruises in there for a touchdown. Makes a nice 26-7 lead. Tom Brady, of course, doing Tom Brady things. Firing down the field. Only seven pass attempts right now for Tom Brady. Second and seven right now for Tom. And he's going to get a touchdown right there. Fires that ball over the middle. First receiving touchdown. Who's that? James White again. James White is just Tom Brady's offense. I'm sorry. I don't think he got the touchdown earlier, but I know he got the touchdown. Then he had a bunch of yard, bunch of rushing yards. Right now, firing deep to Braxton Barrow, someone we stole off the Patriots practice squad. Thought he could be a Wes Walker type player for this Eagles team. You know, just gives him a decent slot, decent, you know, deep threat. And right there, another sack allowed by this Eagles offensive line. This time to Klitschko. Actually, it's only the second sack allowed, so not the worst. Firing deep to Alshon Jeffrey. Jeffrey, of course, has to slow down. Carson Wentz didn't lead the receiver. He kind of underthrew that a bit. Forced Alshon to slow up. Gets tackled right away, though. Conversion still caught. This time, get to Braxton Browson. It's a foot race to the goal line. 
gonna get stuffed at the one though, unfortunately. Four catches, 71 yards right there for the second year receiver. I mean, he didn't play much last year at all. I think he only played the one game. Maybe two games at most he played. But I know he definitely only played the last game of the season. Carson Wentz going to fire into the back of the end zone. Hit Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar catches the ball. Going to extend that lead with another seven points. Uh, Bill Belichick right there, who has lost a lot of weight over the offseason. Not too thrilled. Look at that. Defo definite late hit right there. Would have been the flag, definitely, but Madden doesn't call flags for anything. They're in five right there. Tom Brady just rifling it in. I mean... What can you do? It's Tom Brady. He's going to do Tom Brady things. He's going to find little holes right there. Was that Chris Hogan he hits right there now? He went from four, four, uh, four completions for seven attempts for 19 yards to 11 for 17 for over 100. So you can't help count Tom Brady out, especially when his uh, tight ends are juking people out like that. I'm going to be a receiver right there. I don't know who that is. That's Campbell. I don't know who, Tyler, who Campbell is, but it's his first career recept for receiving touchdown. Uh, yeah, Doug Peterson, not happy. Not happy one bit. Neither is Brian Dawkins. Dawkins is more of a blitz-happy offense. You know, Jim Schwartz got really conservative his last couple seasons with the Eagles. Uh, but Tony Romo, though, always been a majority of his career was a passing quarterback. Uh, definitely the kind of offense he's running right now. Carson Wentz just over 300 yards right now in the fourth quarter. Uh, he's definitely, I mean, Romo's had some good running backs in his career. He had, uh, what was that? He had uh, DeMarco Murray, uh, Darren McFadden. He had Zeke, but then he got hurt that year. So, I mean, a lot of that came from his offensive line on why some of his backs were so good. But, uh, yeah, no. So, Romo, you know, he's, he's doing what he's doing pretty good right now. But back to Brian Dawkins. Uh, Dawkins pretty happy right there. Jalen Mills with the interception right there. Pretty much seals his game up with a minute and a half left. Hand this ball off to Wendell Smallwood. Smallwood, part of this four-headed Eagles running back monster. You know, we got Abdullah, Clement, uh, Josh Adams, Smallwood, all different types of running backs. But Eagles end up winning 33-21, 286 passing yards, 187 rushing yards, two takeaways as opposed to the Patriots, 135, 139, and one takeaway. Carson wins three touchdowns, one pick. Um, you have Dula, 58 rushing yards, Clement, 49, Josh Adams, 43, Wendell Smallwood, 34, Aguilar, 2 with a touchdown, uh, Jordan Malata, 1 rush with uh, 4 yards. Not too bad. Receiving, Braxton Barrows and Zach Ayers, both with 71 receiving yards, Alshon Jeffrey with 64 and a touchdown. Uh, everyone else, pretty average, Not didn't really target many other people when those small had negative yards. Uh, Jason Peters allowed uh, both sacks on the game. Not, not too good for uh, the Hall of Famer. Ryan McLeod led the team with five tackles, same with Nigel Brado. Uh, it could be worse. Uh, Shane Ray, Nick Bosa, Marvin Tell, uh, Marvell, not Marvin. Brandon Graham all had sacks. Fletcher House had a fumble recovery. Uh, Jake Elliott was one for two. And going to upgrade Jake Elliott right there. Jake Elliott was awarded a upgrade point, even though he missed the field goal. Kind of weird when you think about it. But uh, definitely, guys, if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed the episode, make sure you guys check the post down below. And yeah, you know, upgrade Nelson Aguilar right now. Nelson Aguilar going to get paid this year, probably. Definitely gonna get paid. But yeah, definitely guys. If this episode make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me, it means a lot for this channel. It shows that you guys want me to keep doing what I'm doing. But yeah, peace out, rock on YouTube and stay classy, I guess.